So you join us now for the Kennel Club's annual breeders' competition. You will see more dogs in the ring in the minute than you will see at any other time at Crufts. Anne McDonald is judging this year. First in, the Alawan Afghan Hounds. Followed by the Basset Fove de Britannia. The Rangali Kennel. And another kennel of Basset Fauve de Britannia, this the Mokras. And coming now, the, the Petit Basset Griffin Vendien, this is from the kennel Mordazzi. Followed by the Malrich Basset Hounds. Very even and tight, these buses. Here's a group of Borzois from the Nibras Borzoi Kennel. The aim is to get dogs looking the same in type. And here's another group of Borzoi from the Lynx Kennel. Chaneco del Etna this time, the Hadronensis Kennel. Relatively new breed to this big ring at Croft. And now a group of pharaoh hounds, and these are from the Anet Kefa kennel. Even they look identical. Love this affix. The first of two groups from the Mighty Midget Bedlington Terrier kennel coming in. There they come, the, and we've got another group of pharaohs coming in first. And here are the mighty midgets, a marvellous kennel name, those mincing action of the Bedlington Terriers. The, the handlers in matching outfits, you see, to set up their dogs. And just as there were two mighty midgets, Bedlington Terriers, both of those groups of pharaoh hounds came from the same kennel, Anna Tefka. And here is a relatively rare breed, the Chesky Terriers from the Ridley Kennel, followed by a group of Irish Terriers from the Montel, famous kennel of Irish. Bright red coats on these Irish Terriers. And now some little Norfolk Terriers, these from the Villasa Kennel. Very <laughs> full of life, that uh, Norfolk. <laughs> yes. yes. And here, uh, yes, stylish, the soft-coated Wheaton Terriers. They're there from the Silkcroft Kennel. And, and another group of soft-coated Wheatons, but we don't actually have an affix for that, or I do we? I think these are from the Janie Jim Jams Kennel. Thank which... goodness for you, Frank. <laughs> so that's our hounds and our terriers in. Now we move on to the utility group, the first of which is a group of Dalmatians from the Tamilanda Kennel. There's a stylish group dogs and handlers and here's some she Japanese Shiba Inu from the warm famous Vorman kennel of Liz Dunhill a brisk gate of those Shiba Inu group of Kazons here from the Amicris kennel Here is the Zentar Lars Apsos. The Zentar Kennel won Best in Show here in 2012 with one of their Larses. Under you, I it was, believe. It was indeed, yes. If my memory serves me correctly. And, and following them in from the uh, Angesix Kennel. Another group of Larses, yes. And here, a lovely little group of Tibetan Spaniels. The Shirazi Kennel of Mr. and Mrs. Quest. Now the first of our toys, Affen Pinchers this time, from the Darkle Kennel. Group of cheeky little monkeys. Now we see the Marichai's Lanco Chihuahuas. This little floating goose step, the style of those... Um, and here a group of Lanco Chihuahuas, they're from the Mauritius Kennel, Marichai's Kennel. Followed by a group from the Cape Vidal Kennel. Two groups of long coated chihuahuas. The 
And we saw a Maltese take the top spot in the toy group. And here we have a group in the breeders' competition yes, from Zumanic. And they did actually win best of breed yesterday with one of their dogs, yes. <laughs> followed by a gorgeous little group of poms from the Lariva kennel. That's wonderful little brisk action of the Pomeranian there. And here's a group of German pinchers from the Brintala kennel. Relatively rare breed in this country. What a contrast. A group of Newfoundlands. This from the kennel Zentor. Two browns, two, two blacks and a chocolate there. Siberian Huskies, these from the Arctic Skies Kennel. And here's a very colourful group of Australian Shepherds from the Allmark Kennel. Ten out of ten for coordinating yes, outfits, yes. girls. Blue Merle, Australian Shepherds in a very colourful outfit. And here are some Belgian Shepherd Dogs, the Malinois variety from the Gold Marley Kennel. These, of course, are pastoral winners, the Aradair Border Collies. And here is a group of smooth collies. They come from the Blumorda kennel. Two tries and a blue merle. A group of Estrella Mountain Dogs from the Casa de Los kennel. And the first group of Finnish Lapwins from yeah. Elbereth, followed by a group from the Glen Chess Kennel. The next week, a team of German Shepherd Dogs. Those Finnish Lapwins, and then followed by a, a, a team of German Shepherd Dogs from the Netzrick Kennel. Little Swedish Valhuns, this group from the Eriksfjord Kennel. And now we're going after these, we'll uh, see the first of our Gundog teams. A team of English setters from the Victoria View Kennel. And present here almost every year, the Hernwood Gordon setters. Very smart team. Nova Scotia duck tollers there, Erica Chen kennel with four of them here. All with the correct tail carriage and those white tips to the tails. And here we have the field spaniel group from the Fekemus kennel. And finally the great the Vimranas from the Grey Spirit Kennel, a very good name for a kennel of Vimranas, the silver Grey Ghost Dogs. There's our judge Anne MacDonald and the ring is completely filled with these wonderful breeders groups. And it does make a wonderful spectacle for the for the audience. Now the, the object of these is for breeders to breed dogs of good type and even throughout their teams. It's a sign of them. Um, quality breeding where there's a, a, a distinctive look about the dogs they breed so evenness of type they should all look alike and all be correct type i have to tell you although the handlers all get into often matching outfits they don't get extra marks for that <laughs> no it's the they don't it's the it's dogs, the dogs that that big, it just sometimes it just catches the judge's eye and sets off the dogs perhaps with the color of their outfit but it's the dogs who are being looked at for evenness of type and quality Many of the breeders represented in this competition have been breeding for many decades and of course in that time they're able to select dogs and bitches to breed from who will produce the type of their kennel. We've just passed the Vorman Shiba Inu there, famous for that. The Zentar Laza Apsos. These, these are groups of dogs who represent pedigrees that go back for generations of careful selective breeding, trying to keep the gene pool as wide as possible at the same time as keeping the type of the dogs, the way they look, as similar as possible.
Now a slow walk down the line for Judge Anne MacDonald. She'll be looking for evenness, that the dogs look alike and that they're the correct type for the breed. So hard. Look at those Weimaraners <laughs> standing. I mean, that's a very good example of good outfits, nice, nice team of dogs. Now, I believe we're going to see a shortlist before we have the announcement of the winners of the Breeders' Competition for this year. Fantastic. Diana Phil Reed with their Mordaxi Petit Basset Griffon Vendia being pulled out. The Southerly's Silk Croft Soft Coated Wheaton yes, Terriers. The, the uh, bright pink jackets accompanying the dogs who are <laughs> full of. The full Tamalanda of Dalmatians. They were very smart coming in. The Wing Cup family. There's the famous kennel of Japanese Shiba Inu, Liz Dunhill, leading in the four of them. Uh, oh, lovely, the little Tibetan Spaniels from the Jalrezi kennel coming forward now. Belonging to the Quest family. Ah, oh, right. Those Avril Cothera Purdy and her Lariva Pom Pomeranians, another one with a great heritage of breeding. Poms. Ah, oh, right. They're being followed by the, the Newfoundlands from the Zentor Kennel. From the Caldwell family. The pastoral room now with the Allmark Australian Shepherd. Oh. How could they be left behind? <laughs> <laughs> the Allmark Australian Shepherds. Four, four beautifully coloured blue merle Australian Shepherds. Ah, uh, right. And the first gun dogs coming out now, the Gordon Setters from the Hernwood Kennel. They come from Redford in the Nottingham area. Oh, very smart team. There's bright red with white markings. The Nova Scotia duck tolling. Yeah. I think that's it. Yes, that's the final team that have been pulled out. A real achievement for a, a relatively rare breed still. The Erika Chen Nova Scotia duck tolling retrievers bringing up the, the final line, and we have our shortlist. Now the clever teams get their dogs absolutely in line, so it looks like a one silhouette. And look at those clever handlers getting their dogs ready. Oh, delightful. <laughs> look at the Nova Scotia's <laughs> tails going. So Anne MacDonald now has to select who is going to win the breeders' competition for Crufts 2017. I think she wants to see them move again. She will have seen them move, of course, when she had a look at them before coming in this evening. But now she wants to judge her shortlist. So to begin with, we have the Mordaxi Petit Basset Griffon Vendian belonging to Phil and Diane Reed. And uh, they come from Oxfordshire. And the pet names of the dogs they got there, Nick, Monkey, Coco and Oddie. Breeding pedigree dogs for eight years, competing for 14. And the judge looking for the correct movement in all of them. We don't. We have to hope that one of them doesn't let the team down. We, the judge is wanting good movement in all of them and breed typical movement. And we've got Phil Reed, Diane Reed, Kerry McEwen, and Min Withyman handling there. All nicely turned out in their French colours. Yes. yes. <laughs> now the. They're smart, holding their top lines. And now for the um, Silkcroft soft-coated Wheatons. Now, this is Mr. and Mrs. Southerly. 
They come from Staffordshire. You just heard the names of the dogs there, Millie, Lola, Beckett and Aura. The, the breed gets its name because they, they are soft-coated and silky textured, but they have to be the shade of ripening wheat, hence soft-coated Wheaton Terriers. So. And that's Cheryl Southerly, Harriet Billingham, Helen Johnson and Gail Billingham all handling in the ring in their beautifully coordinated outfits. soft-coated Wheaton Terriers now from the utility group we're going to move on to the Tamilander Dalmatians Donna Winkup Julianne Wright Steve Donnelly and Natasha Fillingham and they've had a, a lot of champions in recent years been very successful elegant outlines in all of them spotting the spotting has to be decorative and well spaced on a white background they're very elegant looking Dalmatian. And the four dogs are Bentley, Pickle, Austin and Valentina. <laughs> Competing yeah. at Crufts for over 20 years. And I'm sure deeply honoured to be here in the breeders' competition tonight. And there they go. In a very nice straight line. Coordinated in the turns, I think we'll see. Perfect. One just being a little bit awkward in the team. <laughs> There's yes, always one, yes. Frank. There's <laughs> always one. <laughs> so, there they go. Oh, that's a shame. That's just one saying, actually, do you know what? I've had enough. <laughs> and round they go. The Tamilander a, Dalmatian. A good striding Dalmatian always catches the eye, and the decorative spotting makes them very handsome, attractive dogs. Now Liz Dunhill with her Vormund team of Japanese Shiba Inu. And look at the look at the identical markings on these. They Japanese. really do yes. look like four carbon copies, don't they? It's called the Urojiro markings. These white marks on the chest and down the inside of the legs. And these beautiful heads. And, and again, a very coordinated uh, piece of movement there down the mat. Such a clever breeder who's been able to produce quality throughout the decades in this breed, also with Rottweilers. That's a lovely teamwork. And you, you can bet your bottom dollar they've had lots of practice at home getting them to look <laughs> like this and to go like this. And round they go. Nice big cheer for them. Yes, that kennel won best of breed it, um, in Shiba Inus yesterday. Now, next we have the delightful little Tibetan Spaniels, Tia, Fabergé, <laughs> Tiffany and Roxy from the Shenrezi <laughs> kennel. Yeah. Gary Quest, Tina Quest, Nicholas <laughs> Kais, uh, Kalski and Sam Maloney handling. Now they're on a glory quest, <laughs> looking <laughs> looking to win this. And aren't they gorgeous? They are the most charming breed. They're lovely to live with, they live a long time, and very intelligent and devoted. They're fabulous. True companions, the little Tibetan Spaniels, delightful <laughs> natured dogs. Beautiful. Now the first of our toys from Avril Cothera Purdy's Liriva Kennel. Beautiful. Avril handling as well as Linda Matthews, Faye Matthews Jones and Sean Gwynn. And here's a very nice even team. By even they all look the same <laughs> and going beautifully. This brisk strutting action. And just listen to these names. Tarquin, Reddy, Minnie and Sweetie Pie. <laughs> There's no Jaffa in there Frank. <laughs> Four little orange Jaffas going up the mat. <laughs> yes. Lovely, lovely picture. <laughs> I would think they have to be in the running. They're very good. Look at those delightful little faces coming towards you. How could you deny them? Little foxy faces. By contrast, 
these glorious, massive wolfhounds from the Zentor Kennel. Famous kennel for their Newfoundlands. Here, the, the brown in the middle, but again, it doesn't matter what colour they are. The fact that they're not all the same colour, it doesn't matter. It's the type which is important. And in fact, if they can produce quality in different colours, that's a big plus point. Absolutely. The only colour not represented there is the Lancia, mm. isn't it? Yeah, which, is, absolutely. which is uh, yes. party colour, black and white. And difficult to produce quality in giant breeds like this, it, isn't it? It is Frank? indeed, because they, they take a lot of rearing to make them come, grow up well. Angie Allen's Allmark Australian Shepherds now with Angie, Robin Arnold, Fiona Hall Hall um, Haslam, and Barbara Gillat. Handling, babe, vague, Seamus and Sparkle, mother and, I, and three babies. And I would guess that it's Seamus on the right because he looks a bit bigger than the rest of the team. I think it's, uh, um, he's the boy. He must be Seamus. All of them blue merls. <laughs> Beautifully coordinated. Now, this is a team which has had a lot of success. They have quality Gordon setters, always turned out to perfection. Look at the black and tan markings in these Gordon setters. Heaviest of the setters and instantly recognisable by that black and tan colour. This is the Hernwood group. Christine Sandiford, Claire Lewis, Louis Pointer and Poppy Giaconelli with Calypso, <laughs> Boston, Robbie and Digby. <laughs> There they go. Very nice straight line coming up. The judge will be looking at the front movement of the dogs. And more than 30 years working with this lovely breed. A frequent flyer in the breeders' mm -hmm. competition, mm -hmm. like many of these competitors. Now, wedge-shaped head of the Nova Scotias. This is a very handsome team. They'll win a lot of fans for the breed. It's relatively new to championship status in this country. But these are four very nice ones. What marvellous temperaments. And of course, their tail is very important because they use the tails in their job for which they were bred to do to attract ducks within range of the gunman. The wagging tail attracted the ducks, or so canine folklore says. I think that just relies on the fact that ducks must be very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but these are a very handsome team. They are. Heather Gibson, Hazel Stevens, Carolyn uh, Morgan and Rachel Wright. With Connor, Rowan, Pringle and I think that's Conlach. Hmm. Nova Scotia duck tolling retrievers. So that's the last of our final cut. Now we have to see who is going to win the breeders group for 2017. Anne McDonald taking a last look at her selection. Four places. So she'll be looking for the top four, four groups. She'll be picking four. And I think first, hopefully first, we'll be coming out first. The winners are... <gasps> the Vorman <gasps> Japanese Shiba Inu. They did look identical. They're all lovely quality, so that's a big achievement. Uh, lovely win for Liz Daniel and, uh, and her team with the Lariva Pomeranians taking second place. The all, the all, the all mark Australian Shepherds coming next into third place. I'm very happy to be there. Oh, lovely. The, for fourth place, it's the Tibetan Spaniels. That's wonderful. So we have our winners, and there they are, the four representatives of the Vorman Japanese Shiba Inu team. 
A superb breeders' group topping the lot. That's a really nice final lineup of four yeah, groups, abso isn't it? Absolutely, and a beautiful, beautiful picture of the four Shiba Inu. Trophy being presented there. Liz Dunhill at the head of her team. And there's the one you get to take home. She looks absolutely delighted, as well she should do. Very dedicated breeder of not only of the Shiba Inu, but of Rottweilers as well. And McDonald handing out rosettes. She must be absolutely delighted with the dog she had in the ring this evening because she's come out with four groups there that are of top quality. Peas in a pod, all of them, yes. So 